not accessible for everybody else, and that is space. Uh, but today it's not like that anymore. Today space is available also for those who have that dream uh, to one day feel and experience weightlessness and to actually get to see the world from a completely different perspective. And when I realized that and I learned about that, uh, I was very quick to book uh, a flight with Virgin Galactic. So I have now purchased my ticket. I'm one person, uh, 192, and within a couple of years, two to one to two year, two, two years, I will actually get to fulfill that dream and to experience weightlessness and to see the world from a different perspective. Now this is a commercial flight, meaning that anybody, you don't have to have uh, a lot of experience or any previous experience to be able to do this. You have to be able to pay for the ticket, which is pretty expensive. It costs $200,000. Uh, but I figure some people buy expensive cars. Uh, I prefer to buy uh, experiences. I can always hitch a ride with somebody who has an expensive car. It's going to be a lot more difficult to hitch a ride with somebody to, to out to space. But this is an investment for me. I mean, even going to Mount Everest, it costs money. Or the paddling trip around the US, it costs money. And for me, it is an investment that I uh, hope to be able to make, continue to make an earning out of when I come back to talk about them again. That's why it's so fascinating to be a part of this at such an early stage, because space adventure, we're just seeing the beginning of it. Uh, it's a completely new uh, field that is opening. And this is going to be my first trip. Uh, I really hope to be able to do more trips uh, in the future, and I'm going to prepare for this just like I would for any other expedition, meaning I won't be a, a passive passenger, I've already started to train and prepare, uh, learning about avionics, learning about flying, I've taken flight lessons, uh, doing uh, G-force uh, centrifuges, exposing myself to G-force forces, uh, doing parabola flights, so there's many ways to maximize those three to four hours that this first trip will actually take. And eventually, again, this is just the first step, and that's what's so fantastic when you dare to go out of that comfort zone and start learning and and exposing yourself to new areas, to new, uh, to new environments, is that you pretty soon meet new people, you start to learn new things. And uh, today I know that uh, in 10, 15, maybe 20 years, they actually will have people landing on the moon. Commercial space flights landing on the moon. And when I heard about that, I instantly knew what I wanted to do. Of course I want to go to the moon, and climb the highest mountain on the moon. I mean, somebody will have to do it. Why couldn't that be me? Thank you very much.